Ah, hello my fellow gladiators, spectators, and warriors, and welcome to another episode. I've just come back from another land, a land called Florida, where the Colosseums are much different than here. But, we are weighing in at about the same weight, which is a good sign and gives us a good place to go from here. We'll see what we get into in another episode of Awakening Hercules. I did it. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you know I've been trying to get the 60 pound dumbbells for at least uh, eight reps of the supinated part of the curl. So I'm going to do supination, then I'm going to move to hammer curls. And I also want to let you guys know about my hanging progress. You guys saw me talk about that in the last episode. Hanging from a pull up bar just to allow my, my shoulders to stretch out and basically create more space so that there's less of a chance of impingement. Now, I recently purchased something called hauling hooks. These are hooks that wrap around your hand and then assist you while you're holding on to the pull up bar, for example example so that I can get an extra about 30 seconds per hang so now I'm getting close to about four to five minutes every single day of hanging and I'll give you guys more progress as it comes but this is a curl superset that you should try all right let's talk legs we're on to this kind of a weird it's kind of a weird squatting machine so it's got a, a curved uh, floor you can't see it in the shot here um, also I had to brighten this up really badly so I'm sorry about the actual video looking kind of bad but you see I have my hands together in between my legs making a fist and I'm using you can see my tricep engaged as I get to the bottom I'm using this pressure at the bottom of the movement to help keep my hips and my lower back from getting too much strain and pressure uh, by trying to stop the movement and then change the way of the momentum this allows me to kind of ease to the bottom of the movement and and then uh, like kind of fade me back into pressing in the movement. This definitely helps my hips a lot. As I'm watching this video, I'm seeing that I definitely need to bring my shoulders up. That is something I'm currently working on, but seeing this video really lets me know that my middle delts need to be engaged quite a bit more. All right, you guys asked for it. Here it is, my full chest day, also tricep and shoulder day all in one. So this is the first movement of the workout and I usually like to start with some sort of fly movement, whether it's cables or this kind of a machine, just to get blood into my chest and really start to engage the muscles. That way when I'm doing more heavy and compound exercises like a press, I'm gonna have a little bit more of an awareness and kind of a cue point for my, my contractions in my chest specifically. So from here, from this exercise, we did about five sets of 12 to 16 reps. Now we're moving on to this exercise that used to give me a lot of trouble and it's pretty much the one that I'm using to gauge how my shoulder is feeling because this is an incline isolateral bench press. I've been using three and a half plates on this for about six or seven reps. And I just got back from Florida, so I'm not trying to push too heavy of weight quite yet. I'm trying to ease back into it. So this is a higher rep set with two and a half plates. There was the machine that we're going to go to next after this was taken. So we actually decided to just stick on this for the rest of chest day. And we did six sets on this, tapering the reps down as we continued on through the sets. And for all of you fellow muscle masochists who really enjoy that pain when you're lifting, here is a very strugglesome rep that I just barely got through. The burn is real. All right, so now we're moving on to triceps for this chest, tricep, and shoulder day. And when I'm trying to focus on one exercise that I'm using to gauge how much progress I'm making in a muscle, how much strength and size I'm ga gaining, I like to put it at the very beginning of that muscle's workout. So this is tricep day. I'm doing this dumbbell tricep extension at the beginning, the first couple of sets. That way I can really gauge how much weight I'm being able to control here. And if I'm recalling correctly, this is a 105 pound dumbbell for, I believe this was 12 reps. The second set was severely lower. The second set was eight reps. And the next set, I was barely able to get five. But it is really fantastic to move up in tricep strength and to see your triceps getting bigger. It's one of my favorite muscles on the body. Let me take a second to call myself out for these terrible angles. I'm so sorry that these videos are not really, really that great. I just really wanted to take you guys through the workout, but it was a super busy day and I didn't have a cameraman, so I was kind of shooting from the ground a lot. Anyways, the last exercise I did for three sets, and then this exercise I'm gonna do for five sets of 10 to 14 reps. This is a tricep cable extension. I should note on that last exercise, I generally do like to switch the handles up and then do an additional three or four sets. Moving on, I'm trying to build up my shoulders again now that my shoulders do have a little bit less of this impingement going. So I'm using this rear delt machine, one of my favorite machines, by the way, and I'm using 200 pounds for six or seven reps or 160 pounds for about 16 reps, 15, 16 reps. Back in the day, I was able to do this machine at 260 pounds for 16 reps. So that's what I'm trying to work my way back up to. And staying in the same vein of doing shoulders, I am trying to build back the muscles of my deltoids so that they can hold my shoulder into a better place and also assist 
assist me in being able to do more exercises without being worried about impingement. So this is just something that I'm doing with a little bit of an external rotation at the top to get my middle delts kind of firing a little bit. There's a couple different exercises that I, that I like to do to kind of rehab my shoulders and gain a little bit of size back there. As I move through these easier and lighter exercises, I will eventually be able to move on to heavy things like dumbbell shoulder press and things like that. The only exercise that I wasn't able to show you guys was shrugs because there's way too many people around me. So I was doing shrugs, but I just couldn't film it. And on screen, you've been able to see the entire workout written out with reps and sets so you guys can try this out on your own. All right, to be completely fair with you guys, this week has not been the best week by any means. And I'm definitely willing to admit that because I wanna be like very straight with you guys. I wanna be very transparent in terms of like how this journey works and stuff. This week has been terrible. I got back from Florida uh, and it, it always takes me a couple days to get back on, on topic and back into my flow of things when I get back from another like state or something traveling. And so I kind of took the first couple days off and then Sammy's coming back Wednesday. So she's coming back about a week later. So as I was getting back into things, I was thinking, oh man, then she'll be home. And it's, it kind of screwed me up because I was like, man, if I get back on point, I'm going to fall back off point. And so basically this whole week I've been kind of screwing up. And what I've been doing is I'll go to the gym. I'll have my fruit smoothie before that. I'll hit the workout. I'll kill it. Do it as best as I can. Make sure I'm hydrating really well all day and stuff. Uh, and right after the workout, I get Chipotle, which is dope because that's like an extra, I'd say like 1500 calories to 2000 calories, depending on the person who's scooping you. But then the problem is I start working and then I work until really late. So I make a final meal around 9.30 or something like that. And then by the time it's time for the next meal, it's already like midnight. So I've been kind of just screwing myself up with how I'm timing everything. Uh, and, and you know, that last meal after that, I'll just try to like shove something quick down, like some protein bars or some cookies or something like that just to get some calories. So I need to get back on point and that is definitely something that I'm going to do, but this is sort of just, uh, I guess, being very genuine and authentic with you guys. I've been not doing as good this week in terms of intake of calories. All right, one of my favorite segments of the Hercules episode is showing you guys the music, and a lot of you guys have been really, really taken to this, but before we get into the music that I've been listening to this week, I wanna show you guys this headphone set. So this company, August, actually hit me up, and I, I get a lot of uh, headphone companies hitting me up, and I always tell them to send it over, and usually you don't hear about it on the channel because usually they suck, but this company actually kicks ass. So this is called August, these are called EP650s, uh, and the reason I really like these is that it has this control panel over here that has a plus and minus volume button, it has a before and next track and it has a pause and play button as well as the on and off button right there these are so sick I'm a I'm a head like I'm not a headphones uh, elitist I don't spend six hundred dollars on headphones but I do need them to sound really good and I'm all about the twenty to forty dollar range so these actually kick more ass than the Sony ones that I used to recommend for everybody to get that were about 25 these are I think they're 45 and there's a 15% discount code they kick ass with sweat really good bass I actually legitimately do recommend these so if you want to check them out I'll put the link in the description below check out the reviews these kick ass now onto the music now I could do I could do one of these about every single week because I listen to a new set of music all the time there's some crazy stuff on here so don't don't be offended but these first two songs are, are pretty much what's on replay right now this is some old west coast 90s rap so if you like old gangster rap check out if you haven't heard already hello by ice cube I started this gangster ear and this the mother ear thanks I get it's so good and then we got a little spice one this is a little bit more old school a little less like uh, gang banging it's a little bit more like rhythm and then underneath that there's cage he's got a whole album called movies for the blind pretty much every song on there is really morbid just really dark and awesome I'm covering a thumbnail of a, a record because this is from Cor cannibal corpse so it's like really gory album cover but I've also been listening to a little bit of some Hate Breed, Last Breath, and This Is Now. Both those are super dope. And finally, Willie D. This one's called Die, and it is such a G West Coast OG song. It's dope. Check it out. And that brings us to the end of this episode. And I guess the point of this episode, really the takeaway message is that not everybody will always have perfect weeks. Everybody has off weeks. Even gladiators take off weeks. And, and you know, you kind of have to just keep your mind in the right place and think, okay, this week I'm not getting as much done as I want to be. I'm not as on point as I want to be, but that's okay because I am going to put 100% effort in. I'm going to get right back onto it. I'm going to get back into my little like my little mode, my little ditch that I run through. And uh, and that's exactly where I am right now. I know that next week I'm going to be way more on point. I'll be drinking more water. I'll be eating more whole foods. I'll be sleeping better because I have the mental 
awareness and the, the mental idea that I don't want to stay in this in this off week. Point being, don't beat yourself up when you have off weeks, but also kick your ass into shape so that you don't stay in that off week kind of idea paradigm for months. So Florida definitely screwed me up in terms of eating tons of food because I wasn't able to eat huge volumes of food. So now I'm trying to kind of uh, taper my way back up and get my stomach used to stretching out and getting taut with all that food. Uh, so this week I am aiming to get about 4,000 calories at minimum, but I will be trying to get 4,500 calories. Now if that's gonna happen or not, we'll find out. But that is a big thing. As far as my physique looks, I feel like I look pretty much exactly the same as before I left, so meaning that there was no real progress made, but it's good because I didn't regress. So that feels good. And it gives us kind of like an open slate for the next two weeks to kick ass. So my brethren and friends, I appreciate you coming in here and supporting a warrior on his journey. Make sure that you give it the thumbs up and all the arbitrary YouTube actions that you can do to help a warrior on YouTube, like commenting and subscribing. And I will bring you the best that I can bring you on this next episode of Resurrecting Hercules.